ऑनरेबल मेंबर श्री जसबीर सिंह गिल जी थैंक यू चेयरमैन सर सर आई राइज टू थैंक आर डॉक्टर नर्सेज पैरामेडिक स्टाफ साइंटिस्ट पुलिस पर्सनल फ्रंट लाइन वर्कर्स एंड कोरोना वॉरियर्स फॉर सर्विंग आज फॉर सेविंग लॉट ऑफ पीपल इन ड्यूरिंग दिस पैनेडेमिक आई विल फेल इन माई ड्यूटी इन केस आई वॉन्ट थैंक बाबा गुरिंदर सिंह जी ऑफ डेरा ब्यास राधा स्वामी बाबा कश्मीरा सिंह जी गढ़े वाले बाबा सेवा सिंह जी खडूर साहब वाले बाबा पूरी वाले बाबा अवतार सिंह जी सोलाकुल वाले हु ओपन ऑल देयर सेंटर्स एज अ क्वारंटाइन सेंटर्स प्रोवाइडेड फूड टू द पीपल हु आर एडमिटेड देयर इवन द माइग्रेंट लेबर दे वर गिवन शेल्टर फूड एंड मेडिसिन एट दोज रिलीजियस प्लेसेज दे डिजर्व देर नेम टू बी मैं सर सर I will restrict myself to post corona scenario. I won't indulge in any blame game, but I would rather say ki all discrepancies and shortcomings which were there in corona management they are bound to be credited in the government of India's account. Sir COVID-19 is a puzzle. and covid-19 has left many puzzles unsolved it has changed the world in many ways we saved our human but put on the pause all our economic activities after every dark night sun shines and now deadly covids have passed we have to prevent another covid outbreak we have to ensure that with the proper planning we are ready for new dawn where world has changed in many ways now we have to be ready with strong steps and systems in place for economic growth which has seen downward trend the major issues need to be tackled most of the workers or the man far has not returned back to the companies or cities where they worked earlier and we have to make their workplaces covid compliant to restore their faith and safety all the business beat small shops showrooms factories hotels big companies and corporate are facing cash crunch no doubt government has taken some steps but they are not of that magnitude or size which are desired to keep small micro medium and startups government need to buy from them to keep them to help them to sustain the business like transport hospitality airlines are the worst hit and many of them even after being honest taxpayers are on the verge of being declared as nps we need to hold their hand and give them some rebates to help them to move out of red there thereby giving indians urgent robust and professional response to growing public health and economic crisis government should be protecting and supporting families small business first responders and most vulnerable to health and economic impacts not to blame others or bail out biz- business houses and corporations as the dam- danger danger of omicron variant of corona is looming on our head we should encourage testing heavily which include home testing institute testing and we can scale our vaccine and testing capacity <coughs> by order of magnitude so government should establish renewable fund for the states and local government to prevent budget shortfalls as most most of these are facing funds crunch budget deficit deficit are 
in high, are on higher side. Earlier too, world has faced very, very bad economic phases, be it Great Depression of 1929 and glo global financial crisis of 2007. And now also our economy is in the recession, which is, sir, just two minutes, which is more severe than uh, the earlier one. Government throughout the globe are showing rosy pictures, some by fudging figures and statics, but remember this, this isn't politics. It's about saving people and economy. Now it's a question, which way to steer new India? Which way, what steps to be taken? Now globally, the strength of the nation is measured by its, its economy, not by the bombs. We have example of our neighbor Pakistan, who has been enslaved by China by not firing a single bullet by just by the size of its economy. Now we have to differentiate between short-term stimulus and jump, to, to jumpstart economy and long-term strategy for transition to sustainable economy and society which is just equitable and strong. We should take a leap out of Dr. Manmohan Singh Ji's policy to spend heavily on infrastructure and development projects of huge magnitude to keep our economy vibrant and by not privatizing vital government assets. The physical package of the government turned out to be the fraction of what was announced. It, it was just 1% of GDP as compared to the other countries who gave more than 12% of GDP. So I think we have to walk and talk and do more. Thank you. Jai Hind.